yeah, we started to run into famous people, and then we thought, well, let's ask them for a photo with the penguin. <laughs> yeah. So who? Know why we started that? But just like, hey, all the penguins. So who is the first famous person that you did? Let me guess. Rod Moore of the Shameful Tea Kingdom. <laughs> no, he's way down the line. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, everyone. This is Ray, or some of you might know me as Tiki with Ray, and I am up in Vancouver, B.C., and what neighborhood is this? Kitsilano. Kitsilano. And this is Brian and Bernie. Cheers. And you guys have been into Tiki for a long time. Mm-hmm. But you might know them otherwise known as the, the Penguin Guy. <laughs> yes, we're the oh, penguin. that's the Penguin Guy. Yeah. And, there is, and, and there is the Penguin right there. In action. There is the mm-hmm. Penguin joining us. He is a, he, the Penguin, is, is it a male or female? We don't know. It's, no, it's sure. androgynous, is Androgyny, that? Yeah. It depends which country it's in. All depends on what country it is. <laughs> and um, what Brian and, and Bernie do is they travel a lot. And you guys travel a lot. I mean, I see you guys down at the, <laughs> at the Tiki Team more than like people that live in Los Angeles. I'll be looking on Instagram like, they're there again? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, man, what, what, I admire your traveling. But what they do is they take the, the penguin to all these different places and take photographs. And they also have the penguin photographed with different celebrities. And how many mm-hmm. celebrities are we up to now? It's over 200. Over yeah. 200. Yeah, I thought it was around 130, but I was just going through the list and like, oh, wow, it's like 217, something like that. 217. And... Um, Brian and I are big Kiss fans, <laughs> <laughs> and you actually have the the penguin photographed with Paul Stanley yep. and Gene Simmons. Yep. It did happen, but there's a little bit of a story behind that, and I think I want to let Brian tell that because <laughs> it wasn't just, "Hey, Gene, can I take a picture with you and the penguin?" Oh yeah, sure, Brian, let's do this right now. I'll let you tell well, the story. Good, good thing we're drinking. It's a good thing we're drinking. Uh-huh. So the first time met Gene Simmons was maybe 15 years ago. He's the yeah. keynote speaker at the New Music West Conference here in Vancouver. Is that the first time you ever met Gene Simmons? Mm-hmm. Period. Yep. And we'd met Paul Stanley maybe a year before. And yeah. he posed with the Penguin. He was super cool. Yeah. He said, you will pose with Penguin? He's like, yeah, sure. Okay, whatever. So that was nice. So I thought Gene Simmons loves his fans. And yeah. I'm a big Kiss fan. Is most people know I'm a Kiss freak and I play bass because of Gene Simmons. Yeah, Brian. Brian fans. is a yeah. Brian's a bass player, and you're not seeing this, but there's literally a line of bass guitars mm-hmm. off to the side. Mm-hmm. Is he what inspired you to play bass? Yes. So it's all his fault. Yeah. So I was Kiss Alive came out what seventy five or something like that. So I was all of thirteen years old, very impressionable. I see Gene Simmons there, like ooh, I want to play bass. Yeah. And my brother was the sound guy for a Kiss tribute band, so the guy that left that band when they folded up ah. gave me his bass. And it's Gene Simmons' costume. Oh my so, of God. course, I was like 14 at that time. Really? Yeah. So. Hold on. You're, you're talking about a Gene's, uh, a Kiss tribute band from what? Like, when was this? 75, 76. 76. They, already had, they already had tribute bands yep. in the 70s? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, these guys were dressing up like Kiss playing our high school. Wow. And I did special <laughs> effects. <laughs> we had, like a podium. Don't do this at home, kids. Don't the- take like a podium, <laughs> put it on a pie oh. pan, and set it on fire. It makes a lot of smoke. It's pretty fantastic. <laughs> but you it realize... burned these fantastic holes into the stage. You realize now how bad of an idea that would be. Hold yeah, on. Hold today. on. Normally the idea of a tribute band is you, you do a band that no longer exists. So you need to maintain the legacy. So in 1975, there's already a bunch of people like, you know what Kiss is doing? We can do that better. <laughs> All right, who's going to be the Gene character? Are you all right with spitting blood and, and blowing? Did, did, did they blow fire and everything? I learned how to blow fire. Really? Yeah, I used to do it all the time. I made flash pots in my bedroom. And again, don't try this at home. If you take flour... Yeah, I was going to say, it, you probably didn't do it, Bernie. No, no. But my what are you doing in there? Oh, nothing. <laughs> oh, no. Well, my mom kept starting to wonder because I'd go down to the kitchen and get scoops of flour and i'd sift it right if you sift it, it goes super fine and it's very combustible 
So you put flowers? it by flower. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do not try this at home. <laughs> so, so if you want to make a flash pot, it's real easy. Just yeah, make a burning coffee can. because like someone's right there. Like, how do you do this? <laughs> okay, you get the fire, you get the flour, and then you make it really fun. Is that what he uses? Well, that, well, that's what I use. He uses lighter easy. fluid, right? He it? spits, yeah, like kerosene. I use butane, which you just get from you know. Because like that's a, so a much lighter. better. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, hindsight is twenty twenty, Brian. Yes. But now you could probably use like a 151 proof rum to do it, right? Oh, and then it would taste I, good. I wouldn't. Yes. Get You're some, brilliant. Get, get a little bit of plantation <laughs> OFTD. Yeah, true. But it's like win win. <laughs> yeah. But, but it'd be a waste. I, it'd I be know, alcohol like, abuse. I'm confused, but it'd be Is that what they call that, out. Bernie? <laughs> alcohol abuse. Oh, yeah. Watch this. I'm going to blow fire. I'm going to use 151. No, 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 no. That's alcohol abuse. <laughs> that's right. I mean, plug, 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 plug. Yeah, you're oh, right. Am I supposed to spit it? <laughs> I'm, too, I'm too drunk to blow fire now. <laughs> I'm going to drill a fire. So, any, so, so you get so, the fu- you get the flour. Yes, you, you sift it. You sift you it, really sift it and, yeah. and then what do you do? <laughs> you have this. You just take a, can. a pile and just throw no, it in your mouth. No, 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 no. You're making a flash pot. So, you have this coffee can and you make a, a metal funnel inside it. Connect yeah. a big rubber tube. So you're a long ways away from it, good 10, 15 feet away from it. Fill up the tube full of uh, your sifted flour, and have a candle inside that can and go, and you you get a flame that'll hit the ceiling. Which is pretty spectacular in your bedroom when you're 15 years old. Yeah. So my mom's Are like, you "Where's all our flour going?" <laughs> and the stuff that doesn't burn kind of cut, settles down. I have a fine dust. I don't know, Brian. Brian's you been, never dust Brian, your place. Your room. Brian's been taking it. I guess he's having a he's having a liking to cooking. <laughs> yes, that's where's like, the finished product? Chef. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Would it make a noise like? <laughs> yeah, you know, you hear the sizzle of you know. <laughs> it all comes back to kiss, right? Yeah, it's all it's all Gene's fault. So, so speaking of Gene, <laughs> so tell back, the story. Ah, uh, yes. Going back to Gene Simmons. So he's the keynote speaker, New Music West. And I figured, well, Paul Stanley poses with a penguin. Gene will pose with a penguin. So mm. I'm all super excited. I go running down there, and the off chance I'll see him at the conference. Yeah. So I, he happens to actually be walking out of the Commodore where the conference is going to be. And he's got a whole entourage around him, of course. And he's on his cell phone. Yeah. And so I jump off the streetcar right in front and go running up to George Strombolopoulos because I mm-hmm. recognized him. He's like the Canadian music host guy. Yeah, All the Canadians will know who's George Strombo. Strombo. So I go up to him and say, hey, do you think Gene would pose with a penguin? And he's like, I don't know. Don't ask me. Ask the marketing guy. Maybe he can tell you. So I go up to him and say, hey, do you think Gene will pose with a penguin? It's kind of famous and traveling all these countries, all these people pose yeah. with it. And he's like, I don't know. Come with us. So there's probably 12 people. And Gene's looking at me, because he's on his phone staring at me. Like, why yeah. is this guy with the penguin staring at me? So <laughs> we go across to uh, the restaurant, and we all sit down. The marketing guy goes to Gene, so this guy would like you to pose with a penguin. Gene looks at me and goes, hmm, what's it all about? And I'm like, oh, it's traveling the world, it's kind of famous, pose with these people, been to all these countries, yeah. What do you get out of it? Oh, I don't get what anything do you, out of it. What do you get out of it? What do you get out of it? I don't get anything out of it. So why do you do it? So it's fun. So what do you get out of it? Nothing. It's not for profit. So why do you do it? I get to meet interesting people like you. Yeah. So what do you get out of it? Uh, nothing. It's, I just I enjoy it. Yeah. So why do you do it? Because it's seriously fun. You kept on asking the same so the same two questions. questions. Yeah. And this literally went on for close to twenty minutes. And finally, at I'd... that point, I would have made up something. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> the penguin is a big fan of you. And he wants to pose with you, but yeah. he can't move on his own. Yeah. So that's why I need to hold him. Yeah. So I would have made up something. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I, so, at, one so what I, happened? at one point I gave him the card and said, well, here's the people that have posed with the penguin, like Paul Stanley. I'm sure you know him. Yeah. And, and he, <laughs> Point he, he, he kind of, Yeah, he kind of looks at me. Going, yeah, well, that's his prerogative. So what do you get out of it? Oh, my oh God. come on. So after a while, and all the guys sitting at the table, they're all like, what is going on here? And I'm thinking, I'm arguing with my musical hero about a plastic penguin. Yeah. How surreal is Dude, this? Dude, th- you said 20 minutes? Yeah. yeah. It's like by that time you would have had the picture. I know. And, and yeah. on your way. Yeah. So he goes, uh, after a while, he finally goes, well, I don't know what it's all about. I'll take a pass. <sighs> nice meeting you. We shake hands. Go on our way. So it's like, hmm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so mm-hmm. a, year, a year later, he's in town promoting Frank's energy oh, drink. Yeah. Frank Stronach, the guy, the car parts guy from Ontario. It's a Canadian really? Canadian billionaire. Anyways, mm, apparently. he's promoting this drink yeah. at 7-Eleven of all <laughs> classy places. Gene Simmons is at 7-Eleven. <laughs> Downtown. So yeah. Brian and I go uh, grab uh, the Kiss Alive album and go running down there. Yeah. 
<laughs> we jump out of the car, walk into 7-Eleven, and Gene from like, like where that tree is, whatever, like 30, 40 feet away, right? Yeah. He goes, yells over the heads of people in front, I'm still not posing with a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Ugh. Like he, rec- he recognized you. <laughs> yeah. he, he saw you coming and shot you down That's immediately. Right. Yeah. I'm like, oh, come on. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah. He, you know, so you're, you're like consoling the penguin. You're like, yeah, it's, it's well, a, you know, it's okay. maybe it's not meant to be. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so he posed with me for a photo, and then he posed with you for a photo, and Bernie's trying to push the penguin up behind their back so it poke it. So over. he was okay with posing with you guys. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But not the penguin. Yeah, right. No, right. No penguin allowed. So, but the penguin's coming up. And he feels like, he turns around and goes to Bernie, you and I are not going to be friends. Were you like lifting it up told. behind? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to sneak the penguin As they're in. talking, this like thing. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So I, I did. A, <laughs> I asked him like, I'm what, picturing what in my mind. <laughs> and I think it's like the funniest thing. Like Gene made all serious. And mm-hmm. all, so this penguin like poking his head. Yeah. If, if you, speaking of which, Don McKellar and Kim Gattrall did that. They poked the penguin up, so it's just peeking above them in one of their photos. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like they recreated it. Like, annoyingly. Yeah. I'm sure Gene's got a lot I should that. Photoshop Gene's head in. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he oh, would love, Gene. yeah, he would love that. Yeah. Mm. But I did ask him, like, why won't you pose with the penguin? He said, yeah. oh, I've posed with flying monkeys and all that stuff, and I'm not doing it anymore. Okay, whatever. Fair enough. So I asked him, like, will you sign my Kiss Alive album? And he's like, how many years ago did this come out? And I'm like, no, no skill testing question. <laughs> hey, so he didn't, he didn't ask you what year it came out. I asked him how many, how years, many years ago yes. it came out. So I, You're like, Dude. I think it was I think it was 2008. So I'm like, 33 years ago. So, oh, very good. So uh, Gene Simmons. So third time. It was the third time. Third time. <laughs> so third he, time's the charm. Third time's the charm. Yes, Maybe. it is. So we, he was, and the whole family, <laughs> Shan Tweedy and the kids, were out at, um, is it at the casino, or? no, in Coquitlam, wherever the casino is oh, called, right. Hard Rock Casino. Yeah. And it was this car show, we'll meet Gene Simmons and the family, so we'd go out there in the huge lineup to meet them, I'm like, uh, I'm not going to wait in the lineup, because he won't do it, I'm sure he won't do it. Yeah. He hates the penguin, and so we look at the cars, look at the casino. Yeah, it was cool that was, show. that was fun. So we're leaving, walk by the lineup, and it's really short, like all the, um, Six people in front mm-hmm. of us or something. So like, come on, yeah. let's go. Yeah, let's do it. So we go in the lineup, cut off pretty much right behind us. I'm like, hey, great, cool. So we go up there, and the guy that's running the thing says in a bored, bored voice, "How many for the photo?" I'm like, two, and a penguin. And he's like, what? The penguin is famous, traveling the world, met <laughs> yeah. all these people. Yeah, blah 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 blah. He's like, this is great. He grabs the yeah. penguin, rents the Shannon tweet. She grabs it. She's like, oh, are you serious? Yeah. yeah. And then Gene's like, oh. F- <laughs> Click. Click. <laughs> Are you serious? So it's an honest photo of him going. Ah. <laughs> goddamn penguin. Curses. Spoiled again. Curses, yes. So then yeah. he, did, he did pose for a nice photo with the penguin and the, and the family. And then he got us in there for the photo, which was cool. So then this picture mm. of us and him. So let's go back to the very, very beginning. How did the traveling penguin start? How did this all come about? <laughs> Is your birthday. My birthday slash going away party in 91, in September. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right before we moved out here, a bunch of penguins appeared. What? On, on your lawn. On the front lawn. For your birthday. Yeah. So. <laughs> so 25 uh, to be exact. 25 penguins. What? Yes. 25 penguins. 25 penguins on your lawn? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So one decided to stay with us. And. Uh, that one right there? Yeah. That one. Yeah. We jumped in the car and as we drove out yeah. from. Thank, from yeah. Toronto to Vancouver. Yeah, we said we'll take pictures of along the way for something dumb to do because there's like the big oh, goose so, and water oh, so and nickel so you're, and Sudbury. So you're, you're originally from Toronto. Yes, mm-hmm. we grew up in Toronto. Okay, moved okay. out here in '91. Yep. Took mm-hmm. the penguin for the drive. I'm curious, what brought you out to Vancouver as opposed to Toronto? Um, we both. What, what are you laughing? About? <laughs> Is there a story? <laughs> the <laughs> penguin made us. Yeah. We blame the penguin. <laughs> yeah. All your right. life that's decisions true. have changed around because of the penguin. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. A little conversation. <laughs> that's right. Hey, Brian, I think you guys should move to BC. So you started in ninety one. Mm-hmm. So it's twenty six years, thirty six countries so far. So far. Mm-hmm. Thirty six countries. Soon to be thirty seven. He's going to Sri Lanka in April. Seriously. Mm. Okay, I, I got to ask a question. <laughs> Not even talking about the penguin. <laughs> How do you, what, do you, what are you guys doing right that enables you to do all this traveling? I'm a travel agent. 
Is that the secret? Partly. Yeah, it's part, yeah. yeah. It certainly helps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or it used to help a lot more. Yeah. But less now. The deals aren't the same as they used to no, be. No, they're not. But you know what? Um, when we got married, we got married in Fiji because it was cheaper to go there than Toronto. What? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It was cheaper to go to, to another... To, Fiji. Than, than to go to Toronto. Wow. Yeah. So, like, I mean, it was a no-brainer. Yeah. There used to be great <laughs> deals. So you could fly to Australia cheap. 500 Fiji bucks, cheap. Yeah, you know. It was return like, kind of thing, right? Really? 250 yeah. to Australia. So what is the most exotic place you've been to? Or, like, your most favorite place that you've been to? Most exotic? Oh, yeah. Salmon arm? <laughs> Sam, salmon arm? <laughs> Where is no. it? I don't even know where that is. That's in BC. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you could have told me some BS story about like, I'm like, I need to go there. It's like some. <laughs> oh, there's lots of weird towns in Canada. Like salmon the names. Arm, Medicine Moose Hat. Jaw. Moose yeah. Jaw. There's Moose a town Jaw. called Moose Jaw. Moose yeah. Jaw. Yeah. Medicine Hat. Beaver Creek. <laughs> Beaver Creek. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why do I have a feeling that you're not going to see a Beaver Creek in Florida? <laughs> One can dream. <laughs> like when you think Beaver Creek immediately, it's like, I know. I'm going to Beaver Creek in Florida. Okay. Right. <laughs> so you, so you, so you literally around the, you've gone around the world then, essentially. I have. Wow. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess so. Well, continuously. Continuously, yeah. like with Richard Branson or something in a balloon. No, I mean, no, no, but I mean like... But he held a penguin. You're pretty, really? Richard yes. Branson did? Yeah, I asked him he to was, flip the bird and he did. He was one, Serious? He was, one yeah. the, he was the most fun guy. He was yeah, super he's cool, good. Laid back. So he posed with the penguin normally, like holding it, kind of grinning a little bit. And then Bernie said, would you be so kind as to flip the bird? He said, <laughs> I, I beg your pardon? And I said, well, you know, you're famous for doing that. He goes, oh, flip. <laughs> so he had the penguin upside down. Yeah. So he, was, I, I, he was fun. And I, yeah. I, I know uh, Kim Cattrall from Sex and the City. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And tell tell us tell the the viewers about Kim because she wanted to take That's the right. picture, she was unlike a, Gene Simmons. Yes, she was the first person to message us directly saying, "I want to pose with a penguin." Okay, does the bird have a name? Is there a name for them? So that's the most asked question. And like, so is it Sue, no. Sue or Jim or <laughs> Pat? Yeah. No, if it's saying Dragon, is it could be right. Pat, right? Yeah, yeah. Pat, yeah. That's true. Kelly, Pat, Chris. <laughs> but what is it? It's a the penguin or the traveling penguin, but he's been on stage with a number of groups. What? So, oh yeah, like with uh, Rick Nielsen. Oh Cheap yeah, Trip. from Cheap Trick. Yeah, Cheap, yeah fun stage. Um, so the penguin has performed with Cheap Trick. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. With Red Elvis, is they're the best because they grabbed the penguin, and so did Deke Dickerson with Lost Street Tracks. They grabbed what? the penguin and they use it as like a slide on the guitar. Yeah. So maybe that'll happen with a certain band in Caliente this year. Maybe. maybe. Yeah, you never know. You That'd never be know. really cool. Yes. So. Uh, so, Anyways, but Bjorn again. Yeah. He was on stage with Bjorn again. There's an ABBA really? tribute band. Mm-hmm. And they're playing down at the Vogue. Did you say an ABBA tribute band Abba. called yeah. Bjorn again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, were, they were a ton of fun. <laughs> what are they, hold on, was this band going on when ABBA was still performing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right after they started. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like his tribute bands. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 70s. There, there you go. There's, there's my challenge to you, Brian. You play bass. <laughs> Find some new band that just came out <laughs> and immediately start a tribute band. <laughs> we can do it better than you. <laughs> Maybe Ed Sheeran. I, I, oh. I, I can't believe. Hey, he's played Pose with the Penguin. Did he? Yeah. yeah. Penguin. So, okay, well, who is the most popular person then that would have posed with the Penguin? Or some of the most popular people? There's Kim Cattrall is very popular. Kim Cattrell, yeah. Yeah, Strayman Hillary. That was a coup, of course. Yeah. yeah. See, meeting him. First guy who climbed Mount Everest. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. Lor- was my high. Lawrence Ferlinghetti is a coup. Really? You're into yeah. the beatnik stuff. Yeah. Because he's, you know, the, the beatnik City generation. City Lights bookstore. Yeah. I mean, contemporary Jack Kerouac. And... Mm, that's historical. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I don't know. There's Billy Bragg. Billy a lot Bragg of musicians. was fun. Billy Bragg was cool. Yeah. Okay, well, since we're in Canada, has any of the members of Rush? No. Not no. Yet. Not yet. Not yet. Next time we're in Toronto. Come oh. on, Getty. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Alex. Neil. Come on, Alex. Let's make this happen. Yeah, that's right. It'll happen. Neil, Neil Peart's brother lives somewhere out in Point Grey. Then what you need so to do comes by all the time. is you, you need yeah. to have Neil Peart's brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it'll be like an envy. That's right. That's right. Penguin envy. That's it's it. a thing. Is there, is there a website for the penguin? Yes. Yes. What is it? it? You can find it numerous ways. The Traveling Penguin. The Traveling Penguin. Literally. 
thetravelingpenguin.com. Mm-hmm. Or you can find it under thepenguin.ca. Seriously. It takes you to the same place. Wow. Yeah, but it's not only there. Yeah, it's also on Facebook. Yeah, and no, I know Twitter, there's Instagram. Of Instagram just started. Um, and what's the Instagram thing? Um, penguin is... Penguin is go. Same as Twitter. That is amazing. Well, people check out the traveling penguin. Bernie, Brian, thank you for coming on the show. Woo! Yay! Thank you. And if you see this penguin around, Cheers. don't be like Gene Simmons. Pose with them. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Such a poser. Cheers. The... So tell me, Penguin, what was it like beating Gene Simmons? He was an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Outer voice. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, have you ever had the Penguin talk to you? <laughs> After many drinks, maybe. <laughs> no, Penguin, I'm not going to do that. It's like a Twilight Zone episode where it's like a, a talking doll. That's right. Have you ever... That would be the creepiest thing. Bernie's in the be- Bernie's in the bedroom. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, Bernie's in, like, maybe you're, like, doing something there. All of a sudden, you hear Brian having a conversation, a one-sided conversation. <laughs> and, you, <laughs> and you come out, and you see that he's, like, talking to the penguin. Now, I tell <laughs> <laughs> Honey, we need to talk. This will be edited. Okay. So, I, I mean, I don't know. So, it isn't like, okay, record. And you got to be know. on. Yeah. Because we gotta yeah, refresh and, drinks. And yeah. Drinks. So it isn't like. Yeah. yeah, that's the most important thing is we gotta refresh drinks. It's not gonna be on. Yeah. yeah so, on. so we don't need to like. So you don't have to feel like you're on. Everything has to be perfect. Because I'm going to go back and then like cut everything mm-hmm. to, to make everything. We're right. gonna change all our words around to say something different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that would be crazy. I know, suddenly my voice is coming out of the penguin. How do you do that? Yeah, I'm like, you're like talking like this. And I'm like, I really love Tiki. <laughs> yeah. I really love <laughs> Tiki. <weird>, <laughs> it's like, actually, Bernie hates Tiki. And yeah, that's true. So, so, Bernie, how long have you been in the Tiki? Oh, I want to fuck. I didn't say that. <laughs> Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, like you're like, you act, you act like the diva. Yeah. <laughs> this, what does your cousin Dorothy said, the, I always knew you were So how'd you get in the tiki, Brian? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Yeah. So, Aeons ago. Yeah. I didn't realize that, that Brian was Andy Warhol in this guy. <laughs> yeah, so well, this, Cheers. 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 And then that's it. We just, you just watch, people just watch us drink for the next half hour. All right. I'd watch that. It's so good. It's like Jenny Cam, but it's like Tiki Cam. Remember Jenny Cam? No. Back, I'm, oh God, back when the internet first started, like in the early 2000s, there was this website called Jenny Cam. And all it was is this, this girl named Jenny. She had a, like a webcam on her computer. And it just shot into like her living room. Hmm. And the whole idea is you just watched her. Yeah. That's kind of creepy. It is. <laughs> but she made a living doing it. And I guess the whole thing is you'd pay and you'd be just watch her live her life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've heard of things like that. I wanted to do that with the penguin actually because it would be so stupid to have a camera on the penguin that never moves. <laughs> It's like Andy War- not not to bring back not up an Andy Warhol, movie. but if you, but Andy Warhol has a a movie mm. called Empire. Okay. Have you heard of this? No. Andy Warhol has a movie called Empire, and all it is is he t- he filmed the Empire State Building for ten hours. <laughs> so that's all that's the movie what I'm talking is. About. That's all it is. It's just it's just one camera on the Empire State Building. But it's the nuances throughout the day. Yeah, sure. The Captain right. Grogs are taking effect. Yes, they are. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. Pretty soon we're going to be like talking in call. Rod will show me. Rod, I want to thank you for being on my show today. <laughs> so, tell me, <laughs> how did you get into all this tiki crap? <laughs> and he's like totally so, well, Ray, I got into tiki <laughs> That's beautiful, man. Beautiful. I love you. Man. That's a beautiful story. <laughs>
Hey gang, this is Tiki with Ray, and I just want to say thank you very much for checking out my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more episodes, click on the subscribe button. And if you like the video, give it a like. That would mean a lot to me. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave a comment in the, uh, the comment section below.